Hi, today we are going to see how to integrate and sync a Google Sheet document into Power BI. Right, let's go. Before we start, there are a few things that we need to keep in mind. First, this method that I'm going to tell you about is not for sensitive data. If you have sensitive data in your Google Sheets, you probably shouldn't use this method. Right? Uh, because we won't be using any uh, kind of authentication uh, or login while fetching data from Google Sheets, right? So anyone with the link to your sheet can view your data, right? And second thing that you need to keep in mind is that this method is probably not for that type of data where the number of rows increases a lot, right? So this method is best suited for that kind of data where the number of rows is fixed. But even if you have data where the number of rows will keep on increasing, I have some workarounds for that method, right, which I'll show you. Of course, uh, if you want to go for proper methods, uh, there are some other methods also available, like, you know, using the API, Google Sheets API, or using credentials and all. But I think, uh, We'll discuss that in some other video, right? So let's start with how to uh, export your data from Sheets to Power BI. Okay, so what you have over here is a sample sheet that I've made, right? It simply lists the date in column A and uh, sales in column B, right? And we are going to try to uh, fetch this using Power BI. To push data from the sheet into Power BI, we need to generate a link for this document, right? And we do that by going, by going into File and clicking on Publish to the Web, right? So your content becomes visible to anyone by publishing to it to the web. And that is why I was suggesting that, you know, don't use sensitive data in the sheet. So what we'll do is we'll publish the entire document and we'll publish it as a comma separated value. And we'll click on, oh, okay, before that, just ensure that, uh, okay, entire document is selected. And also ensure that this is ticked automatically re republish when changes are made, right? So if any row is added or is or any kind of values changed, our data can be fetched again or refreshed in power bi right now click on publish and click on ok right so this is the link that we get and we use this link in in our power bi import right let's go there using the link that we have copied from google sheets we'll import data into power bi by going into edit queries and uh, then we'll click on new source. We'll search for import from web, this thing. Click on connect. Right, and we'll paste our URL here. Ensure that this is the last words spell out output equal to CSV over here. Right, like this and click on OK. We get this navigator window where we click on OK again. And this is, a data, this is the data that is presented to us, right? This looks good already in format. Uh, the only issue is we are getting some null, null values over here. Right, we'll talk about these null values later on. For now, we'll just filter out these null values. Okay, right, and we'll rename this table. Let's say Google Sheets. And we'll click on close and apply. Right, so our data has been loaded over here. We'll try plotting a simple line chart to verify our data. And we'll just move the date hierarchy over here. 
great. So yes, all our data is coming perfectly over here, right? So yeah, so that's that. These these are the basic steps by which you can import data from Google Sheets into Power BI, right? Now we'll talk about uh, a scenario where the data, the, where the number of rows in your data are increasing, right? So we'll talk about how to refresh this data, right? How to get new values from Google Sheets into this data. What I've done now is I've added three more rows, these three rows over here to the Google Sheet document, right? And we're trying to force our document to refresh the data to fetch these three extra rows, right? So we'll go to Power BI. And uh, so we over here we have data till 10th March only, but we need to fetch data till 13th March as shown in the document, right? So uh, we'll click on refresh, right? It will fetch the updated data from Google Sheets and it will show these three extra values in our line chart. So that, that is how we refresh data uh, from you know from within Google Sheets into Power BI. Right. Now one thing is that you'll have to wait after you uh, after you publish after you add extra rows over here. You might need to wait uh, at least five or ten minutes for it to you know reflect or get published by Google Sheets. Right. It it won't. It may not uh, immediately refresh within Power BI. So you might need to wait. So that is one thing. The second thing is that, uh, that uh, sometimes Power BI will have a problem recognizing new rows from Google Sheets, right? Sometimes it thinks that uh, our data is only till the initially fetched number of rows. That means till March 10th. It won't recognize data from March 11th, right? So we need to tell we need to find a way to tell Power BI that you know our data will get added beyond the initial number of rows. For that, there is a workaround I found. What we can do is we can simply create a blank row, uh, you know, much later uh, in the document. So, for example, I go down by pressing Control down, and I simply uh, input a blank row over here by pressing space, right? So this has become a blank row, right? So now what Power BI will think is that we have data starting from March 1st, going till uh, this thousand row, right? For us, it will be blank and we can keep adding new rows beyond this, but uh, while fetching it into Power BI, right? Or if we go to edit queries, it will think that, uh, you know, we have data beyond uh, 11th March itself, right? You remember we filtered out uh, these null values. These are basically empty rows till the uh, thousand uh, number of rows, right? So that is why we filter out null values. So now you can go ahead and you know add keep adding data to these uh, to these to the sheet, and Power BI can you know keep on uh, fetching new rows uh, as they are added. So yes, that is how you, you know, get data uh, from Google Sheets into Power BI. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this informative. And uh, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you know, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.